Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM and more of our 24-hour marathon of Tyrone Power movies. He's featured player number 22 on Summer Under the Stars, where every day in August from dawn to dusk and back to dawn is devoted to a different star. Almost as soon as he came to Hollywood and signed with Fox in 1936, Power reigned as one of the top stars in the business. Consider this exchange from the 1950 classic All About Eve. Gary Merrill says, any messages? What do you want me to tell Tyrone Power? Thelma Ritter responds, just give him my phone number. I'll tell him myself. Up next, one of Power's many box office hits at Fox from 1940, The Mark of Zorro. Like our first feature tonight, Blood and Sand, it co-stars Linda Darnell and was directed by Ruben Mamoulian. Although Power was born in Cincinnati and was of Irish descent, Fox often cast him as Mediterranean or Latino characters. In Blood and Sand, he's a Spaniard. In The Mark of Zorro, he's a Mexican hero with a dual identity like Clark Kent in Superman or Diana Prince in Wonder Woman. One quick side note, in the Wonder Woman TV series, Lyle Wagner, man, you couldn't figure out your assistant was Wonder Woman? Wake up, man, you're in military intelligence for crying out loud. Okay, in the Mark of Zorro, uh, power is Don Diego Vega, the seemingly unserious and silly son of a wealthy rancher in California in the years before it became part of the United States. Power also plays another character, and it's here where I'll remind you of the movie's title. Zorro is just what the poor and innocent people of his father's small village need, a master swordsman who can free them from the heel of a corrupt magistrate. This is a bona fide swashbuckler, and Power did most of his own swashbuckling in the movie. As you'll see, he's a good athlete and a capable fencer. From Fox in 1940, Tyrone Power, Linda Darnell, Basil Rathbone, and Gail Sondergaard in The Mark of Zorro. The Mark of Zorro was a huge box office hit and gave its star, Tyrone Power, one of his most famous film roles. Co-star Basil Rathbone called Power the most skilled swordsman that he'd ever seen in front of a camera, better even than Errol Flynn. Rathbone and Flynn fought effectively on screen in The Adventures of Robin Hood in 1938. Because of his movie star good looks, Tyrone Power was often underrated as an actor. Though he had a couple of bit parts prior to 1936, he'd really only been in Hollywood four years when he made The Mark of Zorro. But already he was eager to break out of these swashbuckling romantic roles and challenge himself with something of substance, something dark and gritty. And up next, we have such a film, Nightmare Alley, with Tyrone Power and Joan Blondell, is next on Turner Classic Movies.